good ball game by your club tonight. What was the most impressive thing for you? Well, I mean, I love Sandy's outing. Uh, the inning he gave up the three. You know, I'm, it's good hitters. You know, they're going to shoot balls the other way. I get that. I just thought they were more later swings that kind of found him inside the bag. So um, that's why I sent him back out there for the seventh. He really, to me, made one pitch. I know he wish he had his back. That's to Hensley. But I also wasn't going to let him face Hensley with the, with the guy on. So put more fresh out there. You know, I did try to squeeze every out I could out of Sandy, but he's earned those late outs too. I mean, he's gone through the third time a couple times now and, and been better. He's understanding what it takes. And when his pitch count's low, I have no problem sending him out there for those times. Um, he probably didn't love coming out at that moment. I'm sure he'd fight you over the ball. You know, he's a competitor, he, always does. he wants to stay. Yeah. He always does, and I wouldn't expect anything else. I love him for it, and he wants to pitch. It's great. What, um, what do you kind of make of your back end of the bullpen with, the, with Moore and Sue and the way they perform? Well, if I can get seven from a starter with a couple run lead, most nights when those two guys are ready, I feel pretty good about it. So, um, you know, I think they've just fell into those roles, earned it, obviously, but, you know, it's, it's a nice feeling when they're fresh and healthy down there. You know, I got other guys that can get big outs for sure, but uh, what they've done up to this point, uh, you know, it's a comfort thing for a manager, I would say. Uh, but I think it's the rest of the team that feels the same way, and, and that goes a long way. You had a pretty good balance from your lineup. You know, everybody except for Trout, basically, was pretty good. So uh, you go tell them that. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about the, the depth of the way? <laughs> no, I mean that's one of the things we focused on this winter, absolutely. And you know, I, there's tough decisions every night. I mean, you know, I know what Louie does against left-handers, and. Uh, you know, I mean, facing a lefty tomorrow that, that Louie, you know, we, we like the matchup, so I got to find somebody to sit. So, um, you know, there's a tough decisions to make. They're hard conversations to have, but everybody in that room wants to win and understands what we're doing. So, um, you know, I'll go ahead and take care of that when we're done here. Was Chad Wallach available to play if needed? Yeah. Yeah, in an emergency. But his next, you know, hopefully this thing loosens up by the morning. Um, or we're going to have to make a decision tomorrow. But, you know, it's just really stiff. It comes and goes. Um, you know, almost like a whiplash kind of thing. But you know, hopefully we get him some more treatment today and, and uh, get that thing calmed down and it'll be okay tomorrow. I mean, if it were tomorrow or today, he would have been able to catch him. What have you been seeing from uh, Brandon Jurek the last few weeks? Really past RTF? Aggressiveness. Uh, Marcus is preaching that to him. Stay aggressive in the zone. Uh, get your pitch, hunt your pitch early in the count, and uh, you know, like perfect example of that in the eighth inning. You got a really good pitch in his zone to hit, uh, not necessarily working against pitcher strengths or weaknesses, but you know, you got a pitch down and away and you know, hit, the, hit the heck out of it to center field. It was a big, big hit for him. Yesterday was obviously a pretty bad game, so what did it mean to early the night before to, to bounce back from those two to, to have a pretty clean? Yeah. Two no, I. I trust him. I mean, everybody's going to have a day, right? Uh, we all do. Uh, and he, he yesterday wasn't his best. But I also know that what kind of player he is and what kind of pride he takes in his game and how he was going to respond today. So um, really proud of the way he went out there today. Zach Merrill looked like he got a little frustrated during his last at bat. Kind of <coughs> Who's that? Zach Meadow kind of hit his bat into the dirt. What, do you, what advice do you offer him um, just coming – uh, into the dugout after, after that, or no, I guess he didn't go back into the dugout, but what do you say to, what kind of advice can you offer? I mean, I'd, I'd much rather have a player I can, you know, reel back in and then have to push in the ass sometimes, you know. Uh, <laughs> it just, no, ser seriously, like, you know, it, it just, I'd rather have players I gotta, I gotta reel back, you know, and, and um, it's the first time I've seen that, I don't mind it at all, He's, he cares, he shows emotion, and, um, I love the way he plays the game, and he thought he had a pitch to hit that would help our team win. His, the only time I've seen him show any sort of emotion, that's the first time visibly, but is when he doesn't help the team. It has nothing to do with his personal stuff, and, and that to me, that's a lot. It means a lot. Phil, what you think of the way of fine swing that tonight? Great. Uh, I mean, the, the double, the one that put us, uh, that tied the game late, that was huge. I thought he took some really good passes. He, he just missed a couple balls, his first at bat and then his last at bat. He just he took some really good swings today. He looks calmer in the box. Um, you know, maybe it was the day off, he finally got a little refreshed, but 
he looks, he looks calmer in the box, you know. Or we've seen a lot of, and I don't mind when he gets really gets after and takes a big swing, helmet falls off, and um, but no, he looks calmer in the box. He's going to still hit balls a long, long ways, you know, without that max effort. So uh, really good at bats today. I don't know if I missed it about Wallach. What caused his stiff neck? No, no, we just woke up with it, really. I mean, you know, it's, I think it's anything that any normal person has. We sleep in different beds, city to city, and it happens to all of us. You get a bad pillow or something, just crick it the wrong way. So I, uh, you know, hopefully it's better tomorrow, but if not, then, then we'll, have to, we'll have to talk about it. Thanks, Mark. Thanks.